Um, <laughs> I mentioned um, I mentioned growing up in this little town called Franklin, Tennessee. Um, yeah, you're not from here. I appreciate it, but um, oh, you are. Is that the lady that broke up with her boyfriend during the show? Or I would believe that you were from there. <laughs> I know you're not from there because you didn't hit him with a drink. <laughs> uh, but for the lady that is from there, she can probably attest to this. Uh, we had a my high school mascot was a, was the Franklin Rebels, and um, our mascot was a rebel soldier. And, um, rebel flag was pretty present in uh, in my high school life, and uh, a big part of that was was me. I was the guy that would bring it to the football games on Friday night. And I used to have this uh, this defense for the rebel flag because it's uh, it wasn't racist. That's what I said. Because it was just support and meant you were being a rebel and all of those things. But then I was talking to a friend of mine today from high school I hadn't seen in 10 or 15 years. And I remember her coming up to me one day in the hallway before we went to Memphis to play football. She said, would you please not bring those Rebel flags to Memphis. I said, of course we wouldn't bring them to Memphis. It would be, be racist for us to bring them to Memphis. <laughs> and it didn't dawn on me in my 17-year-old worldly wisdom that um, most of my black friends probably felt the same way as the folks that I didn't know in Memphis about that issue. And um, it took years of soul searching for me to sort of wrap my head around it. Figure I don't have time to apologize to everybody. I probably offended with that. So I wrote a song about it. And I'll assume that that will uh, cover all the I'm sorry's in one fell swoop. This is uh, a true story called uh, Still a Southern Man. <laughs> Thank you. 